Students are getting back to their studies in this new year, but many can't return to halls of residence and will learn online. A growing rent strike campaign demands that students don't pay the full costs. Students feel really like they've been, for want of a better phrase, done over. Um, they are paying a significant amount of money for something, as I mentioned earlier, that they're not able to access. There's a real frustration um, with the lack of communication. The University of Nottingham says it's working hard to support students and is expecting further clarification from the government. In the meantime, interest-free loans or grants may be on offer from the university. Leicester de Montfort University has some halls of residence, while many rent in the private sector. I put the issues to the new vice-chancellor. We're obviously thinking about, about that, but um, I mean, just to put a, a, some sort of figures on that, we know, for example, that we have um, a, a large degree of our students returning to our own accommodation who will be doing the health and medical and education courses. So they're making their way back to campus now. We also have on campus uh, a large number of students, international students as well, who have not been able to return home. The University of Leicester is considering what students should pay to live and study in the current circumstances. Once we understand the full impact of the guidance and once we understand the full picture, we'll be able to determine the best and fairest course of action associated with tuition fees and accommodation fees. I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive because last time I went to get my COVID test, it came back positive. Imogen Hullis is a medical student at the University of Nottingham. She made this video diary for the BBC during the pandemic. She's returning to university this weekend. I had a lot of online learning last semester, so I'm kind of in the swing with that. And um, we're only, so we're doing just practical stuff in person, the stuff that you can't do online. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it, actually. We didn't get too much of a chance for in-person teaching last semester, so I'm really looking forward to getting some face-to-face -face contact and to actually see people who are on the course with me as well. Despite the difficulties, universities say students will still be able to work towards their degrees and gain their qualifications on time. Simon Ward, BBC East Midlands Today.